Ghost Spectre is a special version of Windows 11 made to be super fast and lightweight. It does this by getting rid of extra stuff that comes with the regular Windows 11. This is great for you if you have an older or slower computers that you want to run better, especially for playing games. Here for example, on the left I have Ghost Spectre and on the right I have regular Windows 11. If you look at how much the CPU and memory are being used, you'll see that Ghost Spectre uses a lot less. Also, the number of processes, threads, and handles it uses is way lower than Windows 11, which means games run smoother and faster, and you won't have any lagging or freezing problems. Plus, there are many other cool features you'll like. If you right-click on your desktop, you'll see a new option called Ghost Mode. When you hover over it, you'll get power options like Power Saver, Balanced, High Performance, Game Turbo, along with Dynamic Boost. You also get a task manager and a way to reduce memory usage. So if your computer is using too much memory, you can click on reduce memory to free some up. There's also something called God mode and a tool to clean up temporary files. We'll talk more about these features when we install it. We're going to need three things, an eight gigabyte USB drive, the Windows Spectre ISO file, and the Rufus tool to create our bootable USB drive. Let's start by launching your browser and let's go to this website where you can download the Windows Spectre ISO file. You'll find the link down in the descriptions. Once you're at this page, click on the download button to your left. The file size is about 4.3 gigabyte, so it might take some time to download. While it's downloading, let's open another tab and let's go to this website where you can download the Rufus tool. Link also in the descriptions below. Scroll down and click on Rufus to start downloading the file. Once Rufus is downloaded, let's click on the exe file and then click on yes to run it. You should see the Rufus window pop up. Make sure your USB drive is connected to your computer. It should be automatically detected by the device section. Now under the boot section, we'll click on select and navigate and select the Windows Spectre ISO file. But before we do that, let's go to the folder where we downloaded the Windows Spectre ISO file. You'll notice the file appear without any extension. We need to rename it. Right click on the file and select rename. Remove WP64. And type ZIP instead. And click yes to confirm. Once the file is renamed and confirmed, it will become a zip file. We need to extract the ISO file from the zip folder. You can do this by right clicking on it and selecting open with WinRAR. Now I'm using WinRAR to do that, but you can use any other extraction tool. Choose the location where you want to extract this file. I'm going to just extract it to my download folder, then click OK to start the extraction process. Once the file has been extracted, you'll find the Windows 11 Ghost Spectre ISO here. Bring up the Rufus software again and the boot selection section, click on select and let's choose the ISO file we just extracted. Then click on open, Rufus will automatically detect all the necessary information. You can leave the volume label as is or rename it to Ghost Spectre. And finally click on start. Once the bootable USB drive has been created, You'll notice that the USB icon changes and it will say Windows 11 Ghost. You'll also see that some space has been taken up on the USB corresponding to the amount of the ISO. And now we need to restart our computer and access the BIOS settings to change the boot priority so that we can boot from the USB drive. Restart your computer and press the BIOS keys. Now for me it's F10 because I'm using a virtual machine. Once you are in the BIOS settings, navigate to the boot section 
and choose the boot priority order. Select the USB device and now hit the enter key. You'll see the Go Spectre page. At the bottom of the page, you'll find the Windows logo. Click on it and the setup will start. Choose your language, time and currency format, then click next. You'll see different edition of the operating system. You can choose any, but I recommend Windows 11 Pro Super Light SE. Once you select it, click on next and then accept the terms and click on next again. Now click on custom here and you should see all the partitions. Now you need to decide whether you want to install the Ghost Spectre on your current C drive where your Windows is installed or if you want to create a new partition. In this example, I'm just going to install it on my C drive where my current Windows 11 is. You can see that there is 31.1 gigabyte of data already on your C drive, which is the Windows and all other files. If you don't want to delete the previous Windows data and you want to maintain your files, then don't format or delete the C drive. If you want to delete everything from your previous Windows and start fresh, you can format or delete this drive. I want to keep my data so I won't delete it. I'll simply select it and click next. Now it says if the partition you've chosen contain files from previous Windows installations, these files and folders will be moved to a folder named windows.old. Click on OK and the installation will start. It won't take much time so let's wait for it to finish. Once the installation is complete, you'll see the same ghost specter screen. The system will automatically restart so just wait for it to restart. After restart, you'll reach the next screen which says customize settings. Here you'll be asked to set a password. Type your desired password, then retype it for confirmation, and finally click on finish to complete the setup. Alright, now you should see the login page of the Ghost Spectre which looks a bit different from Windows 11. Enter the password you created earlier, and it will start applying all the changes and prepare you for Windows. And now you are on Ghost Spectre Desktop. The first time you might get a message asking if you want to speed up monitor toolbar on your taskbar. If you want it, select yes. I don't want it, so I'm just going to click on no. Let's see how it's different and better than Windows 11. First, let's bring up the task manager by right clicking on the Windows icon and click in on task manager. If we go to the performance tab, you'll see that the utilization is below 5%, which is very low compared to the Windows 11. In Windows 11, it was around 100 processes, but here it's only 86. The threads were around 1,500, now it's only 1,000. And the handle were around 60,000, now it's reduced to 27,000. As for memory usage, in Windows 11, it was around 33%, but here it's only 14%. And that is a significant difference. Let me show you some of the features on the desktop. You'll find two new icons here. One is the CPU Z which is a popular tool for finding out CPU and RAM information. When you open it, you'll see details about your CPU, including RAM size and memory slots. Another big tool is the Ghost Toolbox. Let's double click on it. It will bring up a window with ton of features. On the left, you'll see options like tweak, fix, clean, and others. You can clean events viewer logs, clear cache updates, use a ghost online activator, or disable Windows download updates. Simply press the corresponding number to activate a feature. On the right side, you have the installer. Press a number to install browser like Firefox, Edge, or Chrome or other applications. It's recommended to install things like Visual C++ 
and DirectX for better performance. Back on the desktop, if you right click, you'll find a new feature called Ghost Mode. From here, you can access power options like Power Saver, Balanced, High Performance, Game Turbo, and Dynamic Boost. You can also access the Task Manager and reduce memory usage. There's also something called God Mode option. Clicking on it gives you access to all Windows 11 features in one place which make it convenient to find and use different features in one place. In ghost mode, there is also a ping test where you can check connectivity to Google Cloudflare or custom DNS. You can also clean up temporary files with a single click. Right clicking on the taskbar and going to property lets you customize the taskbar, tray icons and start menu. You can even change the Windows logo to Windows 10 or Windows 7 if you prefer. You can adjust the size, visual style, tray icons and more. And these are just few reasons why you'll like using Go Spectrum Windows 11. It provides ton of features and low CPU and RAM usage for better performance and excellent gaming experience. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Bye for now.